All right, this video is going to be about uh, volume by discs and washers, where you go around a vertical axis, which some people find a little more challenging, but uh, it's not really any different. Uh, you just have to make sure you go through and solve your equations for x instead of y. Um, so here's our problem. It's uh, volume when the solid form by rotating the region bound by y equals radical x, y equals 2, and x equals 0 is rotated about the y-axis. So the first thing I'll do is I will create a graph. So I have my line y equals 2. I have the intersection point, 4, 2. Um, at some point, I'm going to label 0, 0 also, because I'm going to need that. Um, and then instead of calling this curve uh, y equals radical x, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it x equals y squared. Then I'm going around the y-axis, so I put my little arrow in, and then I've labeled 0, 0. Okay, so what I want to do is from the axis to the outer curve. So in this case, uh, what happens is I go that way horizontally instead of the typical vertical that I've been going. So I go horizontally from the axis to the outer curve, and then that's going to be my big radius, which is um, the outer curve, y squared, minus the axis, which is 0, or just y squared. And now I can set up my volume. So at this point, it's exactly the same, except you're just kind of spelling it differently. So we get that. I'm going to uh, just simplify that, and then find an antiderivative, and now evaluate. Okay, so nothing too exciting here. Uh, if you've gotten very good at doing these around a uh, horizontal axis, then the vertical is really no different. Let's try another one. Um, so this time we're going to go around x equals 4. So basically the same problem, but around x equals 4. So we create our graph, and I've already solved x equals y squared. Uh, what I'll do now is I'm actually going to put in x equals 4, so that's my axis. And then to find the big radius, you start at the axis, and you go until you hit the outer edge of the region. So in this case, that's going to be 4 minus 0, because I went from x equals 4 all the way to the y-axis, which is x equals 0. So 4 minus 0, which is just 4. And then go back to the axis and shoot out a radius until you hit the inner edge. So we get that. It's going to give us our small r is 4 minus y squared, which is just 4 minus y squared. Um, and now we can set up our volume. So in this case, I'm doing... Uh, you know, outer minus axis squared minus inner minus axis squared. Um, or in this case, really, I'm doing uh, axis minus outer squared minus axis minus inner squared because I want to get positive values for my r's, but it doesn't really matter because you're squaring. So, I don't know. Now it's just algebra. So 16, I'm expanding this. Now I'm going to collect like terms. Well, distribute and collect like terms. Get this. Antiderivative. So plus 1 times a reciprocal. And now I'm going to plug in. I really only have to plug in 2. Well, I have to plug in 0, but 0 contributes nothing um, because everything zeroes out. So I get this. Common denominator is 15, which cleans up to 224 pi over 15. All right, so that's two examples of going around vertical axes. Uh, the main difference is that you have to solve your equations for x instead of being solved for y. Hope you found this helpful. Good luck.